Hi there everybody, Nubkex here, and in this video I want to give you my quick review, my quick thoughts on Warcraft 3 Reforged. Because um, basically constantly throughout uh, the streams I've done in this game and, and throughout all the comments here in the VODs on YouTube, uh, there's just been people arguing uh, about the game and all the controversy it has caused. Um, TL Dior for me, very quick thoughts on the game and then I'll go in a bit more detail. Am I having fun playing it? Yes, because Warcraft 3 is a great game. The original was a masterpiece. Is it a good remaster? No, <laughs> it's really bad. Is it worth buying? I think maybe it depends on how much you want to play the game or if you've never played it, um, that sort of thing. But yeah, let's dive into more detail. I mean, first of all, I want to talk about the graphics. You can see the graphic. I mean, it's kind of the main feature of the game. You can see here one of the cutscenes in the background. I think I came up with a really good analogy on stream during the, the gameplay uh, yesterday, uh, which was um, <laughs> it's like they took an Xbox game and made it an Xbox 360 game. Like, look at that animation from Medivh turning into a raven. It's just it's just not very good. Like, it's, it's like they took a game from 2002 and updated it to a game from like 2008, 2009, 10, something like that. It, by modern standards, I think it honestly looks pretty bad. Now, <laughs> look at Arthas himself. I think the unit models do look really good when taken on their own. But you can see two issues, I think, in this cutscene. Number one, the animations in the cutscenes are awful. Uh, they're just kind of the stock animations. It's really bland. The camera work's really bland. I think the background, the maps themselves, also look really bad. At least relative to the units. So you've got these hyper detailed units with so much detail put into them. And then you've got, you know, the rest of the, the map. Everything is completely out of scale, out of proportion, just because that was how the game was originally made back in 2002 or whatever, uh, so that the, the stuff would fit on the map and make sense. I think the, the Griffin Aviary, which I'm not going to show you here, is a great example. The building looks incredible. But, you know, it's got this tiny little stairs and tiny little door on the side that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you can see right here, for example, the map is just, it's just very bland. Uh, and you've got these, these super detailed units just sort of stood there in idle animations all around talking to each other. It's, yeah, no, it's not good. This cutscene as well is actually, um, they had a prototype at BlizzCon a couple of years ago which was much better, actually, I think, it had a much more dynamic camera. It was much more interesting. Again, in my opinion, I didn't like that either. I thought it looked pretty bad. Uh, and I think that was the feedback they got. People generally didn't like it. They took that feedback and they made this, which I think is is still terrible. It's still really bad. Um, I think there's so much more they could have done with this. They could have made it so much better. Uh, for me, I would have personally liked to see the characters be much less detailed. Um, you know, just have have more a more cartoony, a simpler uh, take on the characters, kind of like Heroes of the Storm characters in comparison. Like compare Heroes Uther to this Uther. Like this Uther, it's super detailed, it looks really cool. But I just feel like in this sort of game where you're mostly top down, it's a waste of resources for the most part. I would have preferred simpler, uh, more cartoony graphics and have the backgrounds. Again, put more work into the environments, the backgrounds, and have have it feel more cohesive. For me, it feels very uncohesive with these very detailed units walking around with these very simplistic animations and these uh, relatively simplistic backgrounds as well. It just looks like a game that was made 10, 20 years ago. That's what it looks like to me, which is disappointing. Um, there are, I, I haven't obviously finished the campaigns. There are a couple of... of cutscenes later on that have a bit more life to them, a bit more interest, a bit more detail. They actually put more work into it. It seems to me like they, honestly, it seems to me like they ran out of budget. They ran out of time and they, they didn't get to make the cutscenes that they wanted to. They just had to cut that from the game, which I think is a real bummer. You've got lots of, of new models. Uh, lots of units have unique models now for the campaign, which I think is very cool and very fun. Um, the, uh, but yeah, it just feels like they ran out of time in terms of actually finishing it. Speaking of that, same thing is very much true if you're interested in the multiplayer. Uh, I have very little interest in the multiplayer. And certainly hearing what people who play it are saying, I've got almost none, unfortunately, which is that there's there's no matchmaking. There's uh, no rank ladder. Um, it, it, there are connection issues, optimization issues. Uh, it, no profiles, no clans. Uh, it just... It seems just, I got to be honest with you, really bad. I actually think, ironically, the multiplayer visually looks pretty all right. Like, the, the basic gameplay looks pretty decent, I think. I have encountered 
it's not the best optimized game I've encountered. Uh, you know, frame rates which aren't not as high as they should be, just generally across the board. And then in particular, I've encountered a few areas in the game which have just really bad performance. So that's quite disappointing, unfortunately. I just realized I left the tome behind, which I totally missed on that mission. That's rather embarrassing. <laughs> oh, well. But yeah, uh, so for me, again, to reiterate, I think that Warcraft 3 itself is a great game. The campaigns are super fun, right? The campaigns, they've got a, a good enough story uh, and the missions are, are diverse and fun and interesting. The game core gameplay is, is very enjoyable in the campaign. The role playing elements uh, are great. And in particular, the variety of units, the variety of races is phenomenal and the variety of hero units that makes it extremely enjoyable to play. It's super good. Um, so I'm very much enjoying playing through that. I don't think it's a good remaster for the campaign. I think it's nowhere, you know, if, if you sat down, I think someone actually did a video somewhere where they actually did a fan remake of the cutscenes, which looks literally a million times better than this, unfortunately. Um, I think it's nowhere near as good as it could have been. Um, and I think the multiplayer is apparently very bad. So if you're interested in the multiplayer, it's definitely not worth getting. For me, I'm, you know, I paid whatever 30 euro or something for this. And I, I think I'm, I'm relatively okay with it, to be honest with you. I don't mind. Like, I'm going to get many hours out of playing the game and I'm going to enjoy them. And it's fine for me. I, I don't mind. And I can stream it, of course, and you guys can watch it. And sort of that can help inform your decisions. So I think it's a good deal overall, for sure. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a disappointment. Like in this cutscene, why is Arthas, how did Arthas get there? What's he doing? Where did he come from? He's just standing there with his hammer. What? I don't... He's in my bait. Like, what's happening? Why is he just standing there with the hammer? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Very disappointed, I have to say, unfortunately. I get... I think it's a budget question. That's... that's That, for me, is the biggest thing. I strongly suspect that Activision Blizzard sat down uh, and either the pre-orders weren't what they expected or their projected profits weren't what they expected. And they just, you know, the developers wanted a certain level of budget, perhaps even needed a certain level of budget. They needed or wanted a certain amount of time to actually make this game. Uh, and Activision Blizzard was just like, nope, deadline, bam. Gotta, let's, gotta make a product, put it out there, make some money. Um, and unfortunately, it's resulted in a product that is just not what people expected. It's not what people are sold. And a lot of people are refunding the game and I don't necessarily blame them for that at all. And I think that's pretty reasonable uh, because yeah, the, it's it is a, it's a disappointment. And in many, many ways, it's clearly unfinished under budget and uh, released before it was ready. That's what I think. There you go, guys. Um, that's Warcraft 3 Reforged. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.